Today I'd like to show you how you can quickly combine lists in different files to one big file. And in this instance, I'm going to use a feature in Power Query called Get File From Folder. So before I do it, just to kind of show you the files that I'm going to work with is I have a folder here and inside it I have three different files that are actually CSV files that I'm going to combine into one table. So to do this, once again, I'm going to use Power Query's Get File from Folder. Before I start, there are a few rules. Um, you can only do this with CSV, Excel, XML, JSON, PDF, or text files. The combined Excel files have to, if they're Excel, they have to have the same sheet name. You don't have to worry about it with other files, but they do if they are an Excel file. The data from all files should have the same number of columns. Columns in all files should have the same names, but they don't have to be in the same order. You do not have to include um, the file containing the query in the same folder that you're going to import. And actually, you don't want to do this because that'll double count the files. Um, only put the files you need into the append folder and make sure you fix any structural layout issues before you start. So let's go ahead and do this. So I already showed you the folder that I'm going to combine. So basically, I'm going to use Power Query to bring them all together. So if I go to Get Data from the Data tab and I choose the From File option, I can choose an option called From Folder. Once I do that, I just have to browse until I find the folder that I want to append all the files from. So I'll select the one that I showed you previously and I'll click on Open. And basically what it's going to do, it's going to show me the path of where to get to the folder that has all these files. It shows the files that I have and the extension and information about it. What I'm going to do is go down here to the bottom and there's a button called Combine. If I click on Combine, I'm going to choose Combine and Transform Data. What this will do is basically it's going to create a query that combines all the files together. And this is just a preview. It's showing the very first file and it's giving me a preview of what the data is going to look like when it's in the Power Query Editor, but just for this one file. This file will be used as the sample to combine everything. So now when I click OK, it should open up the Power Query Editor. So here's what mine looks like. And it gives me the preview of what the file will look like. So since all those CSV files had the same type of data, the same columns, the columns had the same name, I should be good to go. So with Power Query, I can go up to the Close and Load button. And when I click on that, it'll close and load this information as a table. If I needed to, I could transform the data in some way beforehand. But this is all that I need. So Close and Load. Give it a second, it creates the query, and here's my new table. This is Gina with this month's tip. For more information about our company, visit officeproductivitytraining.com. Thanks, and have a great day.